Well, President Trump coming forward with a bombshell announcement to ban transgender people from serving in the U.S. military. He tweeted this message earlier today. It says, part, uh, quote, our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory. The tweets go on to say the military cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and the disruption that transgender in the military would entail. A massive response on Twitter in the wake of the president's announcement, some for the ban, others against it. So now we want to get your thoughts on President Trump's ban on transgender people in the U.S. military. Do you agree or no? Grab your phone and vote now. We've sent out a push alert and just click on that alert or go to WXYZ.com slash vote and then vote yes or no. 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden in the meantime is live at the Southfield Reserve Base. And Naya, what are people there saying about the president's announcement today? You know what, just like you said, Stephen, a lot of people with a lot of different reactions. While some people think this is a good thing, others, others think this is a step in the wrong direction. President Trump's tweet Wednesday morning has the transgender community on edge. He wrote how he consulted with military experts about transgender people serving in the military. He blames the change on tremendous medical cost and disruption. Kristen Beck is a transgender woman who is also a former Navy SEAL. She says it's not right. You made a safe zone and then basically you bombed that safe zone. So you made us come out and made us do all this stuff because we felt that America, the home of the free and the brave, I am free and I'm brave. So I came out and now you're telling me no, uh, sorry, and then bomb the whole area. That's, I mean, how bad is that? Politicians have been giving their thoughts about the policy. Right now, we have people who cannot serve in the military with asthma or with flat feet. So why would we allow uh, individuals to come in, although they're very patriotic and we appreciate their desire to serve, but who have these medical issues that could be very, very costly? At the end of the day, I want a strong, vibrant military, but I want to be fair. And the best way to do this is have a hearing, not a tweet. I want him to know he's responsible. And I want him to know that we're really going to fight. Beck, who's been working with the military on changes when it comes to transgender service members, hopes this does not include those who are currently active. Our contracts are valid. We're here. We're going to stay. So what happens next? An assessment will be done. That's according to the Department of Defense that we spoke to today. They said this assessment will look at how this will impact the people who are currently serving in the transgender community. Right now, we are told that once that is done, they will take that over to the White House. They'll work with the White House on making these changes. They said this could take some time. Nia Harden, 7 Action News.